You heard me. Take your hands off Hope now. What? I said take your hands off her right now. Wyatt and Hope are so good together. Not in Allie's eyes. She thinks he's bad for Hope and for the company. Why? You know why. That's why I had to fly her here, Brooke. She wanted to be at your wedding, but I just could sense something was wrong. And, you know, I know her. How has she been since she's been here in Paris? I put her straight to work on HFT. Uh... Well, that's good. She adores that collection. <laughs> yeah, you ought to see her room. Promo material all over the walls. She's got Hope's quote stuck in her bulletin board. She admires your daughter and her message. She lives by it, Brooke, and it's helped her get through some pretty tough situations. And when Hope started seeing Wyatt, losing her way, as Allie put it. Oh, boy. Now I wish Wyatt didn't come with us. No, it's not his fault. He doesn't even know Allie has a problem. Neither does Hope or the younger ones. Yeah, and I want to keep it that way, Brooke. I just have to believe that Wyatt and Hope are going to win her over. When she's in the spiral, there's not much anyone can do. She's always idolized Hope. And that's part of the problem. Hope was perfect in her eyes. But when she started seeing Wyatt, it, Allie saw it almost as a betrayal. I know she's been spending some time with him while she was in L.A. She was devastated when that wedding didn't take place. I'm sorry. Is there anything I can do? I'm just glad that you're here. I need all the support I can get. I hate seeing her like this. I mean, she's, she's hurting. And it just rips me apart. What? Taylor. Hello, Come in. Eric. Hi. Hello. This is a surprise. When did you get in? Last night. I still have patients I check on here. I have a few appointments. Are you ever going to slow down? Oh, I keep threatening to. <laughs> but you love it, and you're good at it. I know the feeling. I haven't talked to you in a while, not since the holidays. Everything's fine. How are you? Oh, well, living in Paris, surrounded by my children. Things could be a lot worse. Steffi and Thomas are doing great work over there. They really are. I know. The whole team is energized since Thorne took over. We're hitting our stride. We really are, especially the younger line. Look, I'm working on this right here. What oh do you think? Oh, my goodness, Eric. That's great. This is Hope and Wyatt. Really wonderful work. They're in Paris now. What for? Wyatt wants to exhibit Stephanie's jewelry. Oh, you mean, what, Stephanie's personal jewelry collection? You think she would approve? I don't know. Ask her if her picture comes flying off the wall. You've got your answer. <laughs> I guess I would, wouldn't I? <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I think she might be happy. Sure. I hope so. Well, on a more predictable note, I, uh, I heard Ridge is back with Brooke again. Yes. How do you feel about that? I'm happy for them if that's what they both want. What about Allie? Did you see Allie before you left? No. How is she? Allie, well, what's the problem? He's the problem. Wyatt? He's wrong for you. All wrong. You're joking, right? How can you let him touch you? Kiss you? It's disgusting. Whoa, whoa, Excuse whoa. Me? I'm sorry. What, Allie, what's going on Why here? are you doing this? Doing what? Hope for the future? Your message? You're ruining it. He is ruining it. Wow, you're obviously not joking. I um, admired you so much. Commitment, self-respect, what happened to all that? I don't even know who you are anymore. Wow, Allie. I'm, I'm sorry, how, how long have you felt this way? When he came into your life, and now you're all changed. I hate it, Hope. I hate it. What, what, what's going on? Sorry if I did anything to upset you. Thorne, uh, good to see you. 
Yeah, yeah, good to see you. Thanks for fitting me in. Allie! Hi, How Thomas. are you? Good. Oh. Hey, Wyatt. How goes it? I'm good. Good. You know, I heard rumors you were here in Paris. How do you like it? Love it. Nice. Well, it's good to have you here with us. Um, so, Wyatt has a presentation to make? All right, well, I'm ready whenever you are. All right. <clears throat> so, we are trending all over the world. And HFTF is the industry darling. Now we're gonna make it the industry addiction with this. The Stephanie Forrester collection. We had a conference call earlier that Allie was in on, and uh, when Wyatt's name was mentioned, it set her off. It set her off? Yeah. She obviously doesn't like him. But the way she made that known, that, that's, that's what scared me. Eric, you know my history with Allie, and I've always had my concerns for her. Look, she was aggressive. She was very, very negative. Has something happened recently? Did Wyatt do something to offend her? Well, he's become personally involved with Hope. And she doesn't like that? She thinks he's bad news, or at least that's, that's the way she puts it. And she can't understand why Hope doesn't see that. I'm worried about her, Taylor. I can understand why. I thought that shadowing Hope at Forrester was going to be a positive thing in her life. In fact, I was sure it would be. You've been having trouble at school, violent reactions. So does Hope know about Allie's issues? No, no, she doesn't. Thorne didn't want that, and Allie didn't want that either. I mean, it's not so much her issues that I'm worried about. It's, it was the tone in her voice when Wyatt's name was mentioned. It wasn't good. Stephanie Forrester, the family matriarch. Her name is synonymous with elegance and class, and everybody in the world knows it. I mean, they've seen her at showings and galas and, and receptions here in Paris and in LA. I mean, who doesn't remember her wearing this piece on the covers of fashion magazines all over the world? Look, Stephanie's jewelry collection is a fashion history artifact, and no doubt will someday be in a museum. But for now, we have the opportunity, maybe even the responsibility, to bring it to the world. And the world will flock to come and see it. As you all know, Hope of the Future has an upcoming show here in Paris. And I suggest that we display this collection at that showing. The blue HFTF diamond was a smashing success. This will keep the momentum going. This will keep us front and center in fashion consciousness. So what do you say? Let's do this. Sounds great. <laughs> Very good job, Wyatt. Thank you. Well done, Wyatt. Very Thank well you. done. I remember Mother wearing this at the Olympic Ball in Innsbruck. I remember when Stephanie wore this to the Queen's Jubilee. Uh. <laughs> well, that's a great idea, Wyatt. Thanks. Everyone agree? Yeah. <laughs> I don't. Yes. How dare you make a spectacle of my grandmother. These jewels are family heirlooms. They are precious. And you want to put them on display like a sideshow? That is so wrong. Honey. This isn't a sideshow. This jewelry collection is going to honor your grandmother. It's the perfect fit. Stephanie's elegant jewelry, Hope's incredible collection. Hope for the future has a message. This, this is a publicity stunt. Just like that stupid blue diamond. We have to get Hope for the future back on track. Back on track? The sales are off the charts. You see what I mean about him? It's all about money. We don't need money. What we need is to stay true to what Hope represents. Principles, values. You're serious. Allie, the message was wonderful, but it did cause a problem. Not for me, it didn't. And not for the people who admire hope. 
I am online with your fans every day, reminding them what you stand for. We cannot let Wyatt and his mother pollute that message. Okay. Pollute the message. Allie, like my mom said, tying the message to the line was great in theory, but it did become very problematic. What are you saying, Hope? Well, I'm saying that the line isn't so much about the message anymore. Well, it should be. That was the best part. Allie may need to see someone. Oh, I can't tell you how much I wish I could reach out and help her. It's just that I don't think I'm the right person. I don't think she's ever going to get over what happened. I'm sorry to hear that. Why? Why should she have to get over me causing her mother's death? It was a car accident, Taylor. It was an inexcusable accident. Unforgivable from a child's perspective. I'll never forget having to sit her down when Thorne and I told her that she would never see her mother again. It was heartbreaking. Your mommy isn't coming back. Okay. But you know where she is. She's right here. She's right there. You handled that as best you could. Yeah, but I could never make up for all the pain. She had so much pent-up anger. <laughs> I'll never forget what she did on my wedding day. No! What? <gasps> I feel for Eric, I do. I'm, I'm never going to forgive myself, I mean, I talk to patients who've gone through this every day. Patients who've gone through so much loss as a child. I know what it does. Do you think this is the root of her problem? The loss of her mother? Actually, it's much deeper than that. If Allie is spiraling downward, Hope and Wyatt are going to have their hands full. You were incredible. <laughs> well, somebody in the room didn't think so. That was really unexpected. Yeah. I mean, I, I knew that she had you know, some issues with you, but... Like she hates me? Oh, uh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's okay. It's fine. Mm. Right, we knocked it out of the park. <laughs> Allie will come around. Or not. Oh, God. Yeah. You're so good at this stuff. Stuff? Yeah. This stuff. This stuff. All, this... all kinds of stuff. Yeah? Yeah. Mm. It's really a turn on, watching you do your thing. Yeah? Mm-hmm. I am not a piece of meat, okay? Uh. I believe in this line. <laughs> and it's going to put you back on the covers where you belong. You know? I have to go talk to my mom. <laughs> okay. See you later. You know, kids at school used to tease me. They used to say that I was nerdy self-absorbed. Well, they were wrong. You're not self-absorbed. I know. You are. Allie. You're look. destroying her. Hope. Hope for the future, even this family. I can't let that happen. How am I destroying them? This, for starters. My grandmother's legacy, and you're turning it into a circus act. That is not what Listen I'm... to me. You do whatever you want when it comes to the Fullers. But when it comes to me and my family and our business, you respect us. What have I ever done to you, huh? You know, what is Hope all? is caught up in something. She can't see it, but I can. You're bad for her, Wyatt. Bad for this line. If she would have just married Liam. But she didn't. She became a hypocrite. Compromised everything she believed in. I have to save her from you. 
and I'm going to, Wyatt. I am going to put a stop to all of this. Tell me about Allie. She's just sensitive, sweetie. I'll say she, uh, she really didn't like Wyatt's idea. Well, I'll deal with Allie. She just, um, she seems different. You know, is, is she okay? She's always looked up to you. Yeah, but to go off on Wyatt like that was... It's your message, the original message that... Hope that meant a lot to Allie in high school. Yeah, she'll get used to Wyatt. How could she not? True, you know, that guy could charm the skin off a snake. Look, I don't know where all this anger is coming from, but you need to calm down. You and your flashy jewels. And you know what's just so funny? Is that they're not even yours, but you act like they are. What? My grandmother's precious heirlooms, and you take them and use them to entice Hope. It's disgusting. Entice her? Yeah. Entice her? Yeah, away from Liam. The nicest, sweetest, funniest man you could ever want. Oh my God, you need to slow down, You know, girl. there is nothing to you, Wyatt. Greed, maybe. Self-promotion. <laughs> Big shot, Mr. Popular. Okay, that's enough. Turning heads, trending. You don't give a darn about hope for the future. You're just using it. Her beautiful line, her inspiring message, and you turn it into something ugly. You finished. You may have her dazzled but not for much longer. Hmm. I'm gonna see to that. You will, huh? Yeah, I will. Maybe I wasn't the most popular girl in school, but I know your type. Hanging out of the lockers with all the jocks, getting all the attention from the dumb cheer girls. I know exactly who you are. Allie, it wasn't like that for me. Look, I want to get along with you, okay? You don't like this promotion, I get that. But you need to look and see how much this is gonna benefit Hope and the line and the company. And Stephanie wouldn't mind either. You didn't even know my grandmother. I've heard enough about that her. That is not the same thing. Allie, we are both in this together. Okay, it's like we're part of the same family here. Now, would you no, please no, just no. cut me you some and slack? I, we are not part of the same family. You and I are not part of the same anything. You will not touch Hope again. Do you hear me? Well, it's a bit late for that now. Now that we're both members of the Mile High Club. How dare you? <sighs> you pack up your jewels. You take your mother, and you go back to your slimy home, wherever that may be. You are done here, Wyatt. Done. You are officially fired from Forrester Creations, and you will not go near Hope again. Is that understood? Have I made myself perfectly clear? <laughs>